two-thirds of our students have experienced some form of trauma. And our goal as a district is to really lay the foundation that, you know what, we treat all students as if they have experienced something and we are their safe place. We always are thinking about trauma-informed as we create our schedule. Our advisory program is all centered around trauma-informed. Our connection classes is a class that we have at the end of the day. It's all centered around trauma-informed. Everything we do in this building has a trauma-sensitive conversation tied to it somehow. Truman landed in Brain Train, I think, because his mom and I had talked about some trauma that their whole family had been through. The first one was when his middle brother decided to make poor choices and ended up in the juvenile system for four and a half years. And then three years ago, our house burnt down. And then a year after that, uh, his father's car caught on fire while he was driving down the highway. And then two weeks ago, we were in a car crash on the Palmer Wessel Highway. <laughs> So it's been a lot and it's a lot for him to handle, especially being 12. When I started middle school without any after school classes, I was just, I was just in a ball. I was just a ball of emotions being thrown around a baseball field. But then with brain train, I was actually able to calm down return to me. After spending time in Brain Train for, I don't know, about two months, he st I started to see a change in his attitude. We know our kids come in here, every one of our kids. We, we have a, it's a tough school. Our demographics is a, is a tough place. Um, and every kid comes in here with a story. And just trying to spend just a little extra time to understand what that story is. Um, given our staff the skills um, to create a culture and a climate within our building where kids can thrive, they can feel safe. 